Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you some awesome things I found at the thrift store and at some vintage shops this week. So if you like this kind of content, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel where I upload thrifting, decor, and DIY videos. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. <music> in the same shirt that I was in in the video yesterday. I'm drinking the same coffee because it's immediately following yesterday's Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. If you haven't watched that, you should go ahead and watch it. I'll try to remember to link it. If I don't, that's okay, you can find it. So right now I'm going to show you a small thrift store haul and then a vintage shop haul. I went to some vintage shops that were having some sales and actually this one shop is closing this weekend, so I'm probably gonna go back to that. Um, when I went in, they were having 50% off of everything. I'm gonna see if maybe they've increased that discount. Okay, so first I'll show you the things I got at my thrift store that I went to. So the thrift store was having 75% off of Christmas, so I got some Christmas and then I got some non-Christmas items. As far as the non-Christmas, I got this little guy. He was $2, which I know seems like a lot, but he's made by, it says 1988 UDC, and I could not leave him. Look at his little face. Oh my gosh. I have a bunny that I also could not leave in the store that I got like earlier this year. I'm going to put him with that bunny to represent the animals that couldn't stay behind. So he was $2. And then I also, they had a whole display of chipmunks and, sh and squirrels, which is great because you know I love chipmunks and squirrels. So he was on that shelf, but he was also on that shelf and he's Christmas. So I got him for 25 cents because his sticker said 99 cents. And this one's made by Inesco. And he has a little furry tail. So that's adorable. And that will go in my Christmas decor. Okay, then I also got this and it's one of those collapsible sleds. And the elastic on this one is shot, but it still works fine. Like the one piece that like, secures it open is shot but um so you just open it like this and then these go down like that and then it just kind of but it still stays open even without that elastic and I got it for 75% off of six dollars so I thought that was really cute and I have um two that are made out of kind of like hard card stock um that one is a Santa truck a fire truck and one is another sled so um i don't know i kind of like those the ones that collapse they're easy to store and then but they look really cute and vintage and then i also found these and there's six of them that they were so adorable they're not actually old i don't think but they look so cute i'm gonna display one and i have no idea what i'll do with the other ones but i really just at least wanted to have one and it was 50 cents for all of them I would have paid 50 cents for one of them. So, okay. And then the last thing I got, um, I got, oh, wait, there's one missing. Oh, here it is. I got three of these and I'm going to be doing some Valentine crafts with this one. And then I also got these. I haven't decided I might do something for Valentine's Day with this, but I also, I don't have this one. And these were 50 cents a piece. And I don't have that one. So I thought these were really, really cool. And that does it for my thrift store haul. Now I'll show you what I got when I went to the vintage shops. So there's a bunch, there's a town, um, it's called Hopkins and they have tons of antiques and vintage shops and one of the shops lost their lease and they're going out of business. So I went to see if there was anything good. It was 50% off of everything. I'm going to go back this weekend. This is their last weekend to see if there's deeper discounts. So while there, I found these. And you know, I love these. These are those like light reflector things. They go behind old um, bulbs. But I am actually going to use these on a patriotic wreath for this summer. Because they're all red and blue. Um, and I, just, I, in my Christmas cleanup, I put together the other ones that I bought this season because I might use some of these. I'm going to store them all in the craft room, not in with my Christmas stuff, so that I have access to them all year in case I want to craft with them. 
Okay, and then I also got for crafting these celluloid angels. I love these. They're from like the 40s and 50s. My mom, um, I have a special music box from her that had these in it. And these, so these always remind me of her. So I pick them up when I find them and they're not too expensive. These were five for the set, which is kind of high, but you know, you don't see them very often. So it wasn't so bad. And I was using Christmas money that I received as a gift. Okay. And then I also got these two old spools of thread. This is gray and this is pink. I am incorporating pink into my winter transition decor. So I'm gonna put these two on a shelf with one other third decorative item because I always decorate in threes and I think that's gonna be super cute. I think it's going to be out in my living room on one of my shelves as a display. And the last thing I got is for Halloween. I have never seen one live. So happy about this box and you can do like an assemblage on top. Um, the product, <clears throat> the rubber heels are actually in here, but that's fine. Uh, and this was originally marked at $10, which I never would have paid, but I paid five. And again, I was using Christmas money and I'm, you know, showing support for the shop that's going out of business. So I was willing to pay a little bit more. And that's all that I got at the vintage shops. So that does it for my haul. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of friend mail that I got. You know what? As I'm sitting here, I'm looking and I see that I forgot to show you something in my bins haul yesterday. So since you all know that I'm filming this at the same time, I'm just going to show you these to you. <laughs> I got these at the bins yesterday. Not, yeah, I think it was yesterday actually. And um, there's three of them. They're all this green color. They're, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them this color or not. I do like it, but I'm, not, I'm just not sure. I haven't decided. But I am going to use them on a winter tablescape that I'm working on. Okay, let's get into the friend mail. I got a lovely package with some adorable items. I love this. These, this is a Cabbage Patch Kid, and I actually have some of these figures from my childhood. She's so cute. I don't have one that looks like that. I got this little molded candle, which will be adorable for spring. I'll put it in my little, um, I have a little 7-Up crate where I keep, it's hanging on the wall, and I put use it for small collectibles. And I'll put that in there for spring. And then I love this. It's strawberry shortcake. And I will put her in the craft room, probably on my desk once my daughter clears out. Okay, and then I got um, a, a friend subscriber sent me a star for my Christmas tree, my ceramic Christmas tree. And it's already on there. I already put it on. So thank you for that. And then she sent me some other goodies. Got these little stars three packs of those and then she sent me some linens which are gorgeous gorgeous um oh I didn't even see this she sent me a whole thing of gift tags you know I love these oh my goodness there's so many and stickers these are great I love these I actually would like to do like a little shadow box of sorts where I can display all the different ones that I have and then I'll use some too, obviously, because there's multiples. So let me show you the linens that she sent me. Okay, so she sent me a runner, which is beautiful. This I'll probably use in this room. It has pink in it and blue. So that's pretty. But then she sent me some doilies, which are so different. Like so many that are different. So there's this rust colored one, which I will definitely use in my fall decor. And then she sent me this one, which is gorgeous. It has green and orange in it, which will also, I will definitely use in my fall decor. And she sent me this one. I'm working on a pillow and I needed one this size. It's pretty tiny. And so this is perfect. This was like perfect timing. And then this one is so intricate. Really pretty. And this one. And then I love this color. Isn't that gorgeous? And actually, now that I think about it, look how well those go together. Really, really pretty. I can definitely like layer this with some other things. And hmm, hmm, the gears are going. And then there's three of these. They actually are in a little set set. There's 
this one and this one oops let's take it apart from the other one behind it and this one gorgeous 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 i love all those linens so thank you for those and then i'm gonna open some friend mail this one comes to me from kentucky Maybe there's a card or a letter. What on earth? Funny. This is the star that I thought was coming. But someone already sent me a star. <laughs> now I have multiples. Well, darn. This one's a red one. Don't worry. I will either turn you know I can either uh, switch them out over the season next year I'll have sometimes I'll have gold and sometimes I'll have red or I'll just find myself another ceramic tree because I have seen on Instagram where people have multiple ceramic trees and it looks very cool so thank you very much and it looks like she sent me some other treasures she says encloses a star for your tree and something I found that reminded me of your reindeer barn ah thanks for your great videos it's very sweet. That does remind me of my reindeer barn. That is so funny. Oh, next year I can put the reindeer barn next to Santa's workshop. I love things like this because they're great for display, but then also when you're storing your Christmas stuff, they're great to store things in. So that is super useful. Thank you very much. Okay. And then... I have one other package. This one comes to me from, there is no return. So I have no idea where this one's coming from. Hi, cutie. My kids are awakening, so awakening. So I have to, I have to finish up. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, holy cow. Okay, let me check the card. Oh, and it smells like cinnamon. The box smells like cinnamon, friends. There's a lovely card. And this is from Susan. Ah, ah, oh. So we're going to our vintage and maybe not the most desirable. Well, I'm loving what I'm seeing on top, Susan. So, no, you are thought of in a special way. Oh my goodness. Okay, the first thing I saw when I opened this box, holy cow, I love these. Look at these little elves. Holy cow, they're so cute. And they're all flocked. So adorable. I love these. Absolutely so cute. Okay. And let's see. Little red truck. I do love me some red trucks. You've seen them around my house. Okay. Oh, these are so cute. Santa's. <gasps> this is adorable. Little Santa face. Very cute. I cannot get over how good this box smells. You like, you must have put some, uh, it's in a, it's in a Young Living Essential Oils box. I wonder if you like dripped a few drops of cinnamon in the box because it smells so good. Okay, there's multiples of these. So I have one, two, three, four, five of those. Wow. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. It's a cowboy snowman playing a fiddle of some sort or violin. I'm sure one of you will tell me what the correct in <laughs> um, instrument is, but he's really adorable. And then, <gasps> oh, how sweet. This is a little bell. That's a little boy with a toy horse. So, so cute. And thank you for making the box smell so good. So, I love those, Susan. I don't know what you thought I wouldn't love, but I love them all. So, all right. So that does it for friend mail today and for my thrift haul and my vintage haul. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I found. I will be posting one more Goodwill Outlet Bins haul on Sunday. That should get me caught up with everything my hubby and I have found over this vacation. And then videos will start as normal uh, next week. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Take care.